16. Whoa. Choo choo. Wow. Two months of love. Two months of love. What can I say? Thanks for the memories. Train. Messed up and bad. Three months three starts with T like train scary train game choo choo. Choo choo. This game is a historical account of why we don't have high speed rail in the US. Thomas YouTube. We're playing Xeno Gears tonight. Weird-looking car, dude. So Friday. Jesus is Lord, 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 Lord. Someone call a doctor, my frog is all red. Chew fucking chew.
29 moths. Trains? Wow. A choo choo. Fifteen. Hey! Oh shit, was that loud? Hey! Hey! The fuck is this music? Get this clown fucking five year old shit out of here. There, you go. this is at least 20 year, 20 year old music. If you're five or younger in the chat, get the fuck out! Get out! If you're two years old or younger, grow up. If you're, if you're safe. <laughs> I love trains. I hope nothing scary if you're or messed six up happens. Months, hey, wait, what's if you're that in the six trees? months old or younger, you're probably the smartest person alive right now. So hold on to that. Has anyone gone to a six month old baby and shown them Pythagoras' theorem? They probably know it. No one's ever tried because everyone assumes that they don't know anything because they drool. Peppa Pig Grandpa Pig Train 12 inch 3 car train set. What? Sat upon by child. Thank you for Casualty the suits. Of war. What a what a night to have a hype train. Today is all about trains. <laughs> I hey, I went to the gym and I did some training just now. I I'm about to play a game that's about trains. We have a hype train going. This game is the closest Americans can get to train transporting. Jesus is Lord, Lord, Lord. Jada with the five gifted subs. Spawning a beautiful scorb. A beautiful night for a beautiful hype train. Tonight is a celebration of what I wanted to do when I was f uh, five years old, four years old. Water. Water. I feel like this happens with most with most kids. Most most kids were probably obsessed with trains. Is that a, is that a safe assumption? Is that like a normal kid thing? Because I definitely remember for the first like ten years of my life, I wanted to be a train conductor. No, the first until I found Babies wrestling. can't ever know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. They can. That's illegal and you will be shot on sight if seen attempting to teach people under five Pythagorean you theorem. You can't teach them what they already know. So good luck. 
I was I I was obsessed with becoming a train conductor because until I found wrestling. So that was probably until I think I first saw wrestling when I was nine years old. So I was I loved trains until nine years old, and then I I used to play with my Thomas toys a lot and then I found wrestling and then once I found wrestling I started to make my trains fight each other and I, I recognized that that was that was over that era was over I was like I can't I can't have Thomas give Percy an RKO like it doesn't work so I put the toys away but I wanted to be I wanted I legit wanted to be a train conductor for like the first nine years of my life and then I also found out it's not like the TV show. It's not like Thomas. You can't talk to the trains. It's probably a very different thing. There's no interpersonal train drama. But tonight... I don't think I've ever, ever played a game that has to do with trains on stream. Has there been a train related thing? I don't think I've ever done any train related anything. I played GTA online with the indestructible train. Well, that doesn't count. Thank you. Thank you, Cal Bastion Dior. Wow. Okay, it's been a I while since I- I made bacon risotto and potatoes to celebrate. Risotto. Risotto is what they teach you to make on Hell's Kitchen. Did you know that? <laughs> I won't tell official. Thank you for the 11 months. I haven't shouted out soups in a while. Thank you, MG22. I'm gonna shout everyone out in honor of this wow, train Wow, that's night. 29 whole months. That's a couple, huh? Huh? May 29,000 with the three months. Jado gifted out five soups. Beppo di Beppo di Bupa. <laughs> <laughs> it's also my birthday. What a ho. That sounds like what that. That sounds like what, um. That's a great username. That sounds like what that sim said. Oh, what was it? Umblippa, umblippa. Thank you, uh, Beppo, Beppo di Bupa for the prime soup. Welcome. You can post chip now. That's your first soup. Time to run a train on stream at Twist TV. Mr. Welcome to Twist TV. Thank you, Nish Nishikiyama. Real. Real. Ten years in the joint made you a goddamn train conductor. Thank you, the itchy donut. Lots of donos. Thank you for the donos. I am nearly 20 and I still like trains. Am I built different or something? No, I just haven't really paid attention that much to trains maybe it's because i burnt out on it so quick because i was just all i thought about was trains for like nine years of my life i probably just burnt out on them you're tired thank you petro all right let me continue jovial J jester of jupiter with the 22 months thank you pixel android with the 15 months ask some <laughs> A Symmetricon. I don't know if I said that properly. 15 months. Thank you, Jado. 29 months. Well, you're almost at 30. Tiny Ghost. 24 months. Walking Hypocrite. 3 months. Noobzor. 2 hands. 18 months. Leaksa432 gifted out 3 soups earlier. Red Lanterns with 30 months. Max Trap with 8 months. Inbiterrain with 27 months. I'm seeing a lot of big numbers here. Cowboy Cryptid with 11 months. Nota 999 with 9 months. You must be happy. Boeing 737 Classic, our number one sponsor. 25 whole months. Thank you, Train. We're going to be seeing a lot of you tonight. Gracie Joe with 3 months. Liked Code Streams with 7 months. Antigon Progon <laughs> with 2 months. Chugga 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 choo choo. Can't wait for the stream. I love Thomas as a kid in trains. I, 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 I don't know if Thomas is in this one. 
trains? Like from GTA 5? Yeah. Apparently, with 22 months, and Hamlet bot with 16 months. Thank you. Thank you for the dono. Big night for train enthusiasts. When yeah, I we're was all coming kid, out. I wanted to be a we're all coming out of the, of the woodwork. Up. And guess what? We're Tomorrow out of the I graduate railroad. Lion School. We're all coming out of... What do they call those little homes that Thomas and Percy and all that shit would, would sleep in? I always wanted one of those like little houses with the green doors. Happy birthday, cow. Happy birthday. A lot of birthdays tonight. <laughs> Shed. <laughs> hey, I'm real glad you all exist. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you, Elk Turtle. I hate one person in here. <laughs> I'm not gonna say names, but <laughs> everyone's worried. Oh fuck, it's me. Oh damn, it's me. Oh no. <laughs> Don't worry. No, I hate fucking Nightbot. There you go, Nightbot. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that high train. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. I don't think I ever had a problem with that mission because I always use cheats in San Andreas. So that doesn't have the same effect on me. Thank you, Sicily and Kiss, with the gifted soup. As I was saying, I always wanted, everyone's saying that's a shed. No, but it's a special shed for trains. It had a giant door, a giant green door, and it had like this little house, and it, always, it had this little house shape. And they all had their little house. And they were always like, they were in like little townhouses. And they would all, they would do the little turn, the turn style thing, which I thought was really cool too. And then they would back into their house and then they would go to bed. And I thought that must be so cozy in there. I want a little, little house like that. I don't know if that was just for the show or if they actually, I don't think they do that with trains. I'm assuming they just have one giant warehouse that they put the trains in. But it looked cool. I want to live in a train home. I did when I was six. I did when I was six. You know what? Make you know what? We should bring attention to though. There hasn't been a single good Thomas um, the Tank Engine game. Is this Mega Man Eight? Yes, this is the Mega Man Eight soundtrack. I've been going back and forth between Mega Man Eight and Mega Man Seven a lot. Those soundtracks are sick. This is a Thomas, this is not a Thomas game. So, I had the Thomas Tank Engine PC game, the Hasbro one that I think came in cereal boxes, I'm not sure. Um, what would the gameplay even be? Hear me out. Thomas the Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas the Conk Engine. Thomas the Tank Engine. Fucking open world social game. <laughs> All I wanted to do as a kid would have a game where I can make my own train and then just fucking choo choo along the island of Sodor and talk to the other characters. That's all I wanted to do. Because that's all the show is. Why can't we have a game that's like that? Thomas. It don't even have to be like really complex. I just want to make my own train and then like, go around and talk to people. To soup eight too. And then thank you for the soup. I think Kenibli, thank you, Zaf Zaf Zab. But like, it's called Sodor. Yeah, it's the Isle of Sodor, Isle or Island, one of those two. Um, but yeah, it don't. It doesn't even have to be that complicated. You know, 
fucking kid me would have loved to make my own little train like you you add the colors you add the, the stickers all that stuff and you customize the face and and then you just go and you go around and you talk to people and maybe they give you little missions like thomas is like oh you have to go work with diesel to wrangle together these uh, the little mischievous little carts and there's like some like gameplay mechanic that you have to you know do to wrangle them together Sorky, why is there a pellet in the top right is it a snack for later a, a pellet oh what is that what the fuck is that? Why is that there? <laughs> That's so weird. That's part of the of the background. What? Oh. No. I think that's always been there and you're like the first one to notice. Cool. Because the background ha is supposed to have like stars at the top, but I think you can't really see them. So it shows up. And oh, maybe it's also because I color corrected it really intensely here. Like before and after color correction, you can see the stars at the top. Wow, I never noticed that. Well, polka polka dotty, you could. That's yours if you want to eat it. You could have that. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, just make a fucking- I mean, I don't even know what the Thomas fandom is like nowadays. I don't even know if Thomas is a thing people- Do people still care about current Thomas the Tank Engine going ons? Goings on? Do kids like that shit still? Is that a thing or are they just playing Fortnite now? Babies do. Or Thomas is still going on? I know they switched to 3D, and I felt like once they switched to 3D, they probably like killed a bunch of the the appeal. It looks really bad now. Mo it being models was so much better. They switched to 2D recently. What? Sure, I'm not gonna go on too long because I want to play this game. Huh? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? You want to start shit with me, huh? I'm sorry. Why was the tank engine 2D? Uh, is this real? This looks bad. Thomas the tank engine is getting a baby reboot. Okay, if it's for babies, it doesn't matter. Actually, no, fuck it. Babies deserve better quality entertainment. <laughs> you won't fuck it. No, let's hold them to a higher standard. <laughs> let's hold them to a higher standard. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. Let's hold them to a higher standard. You know what? I saw that and I was like, that looks like shit. 19 month. Hello, Scorpy. I don't know anything about trains, but anything. I think it is normal if they are running. You should also run, though. Very fast and away. Good luck. I hope Jesus so. That's what the game is like. A witch Lord. bird with the five gifted subs. Thank you. Like I was saying, babies deserve higher quality entertainment. <laughs> babies deserve... Babies deserve entertainment and programming on the level of True Detective. Don't give me this 2D Thomas the Tank Engine shit. I saw I saw it and I was like, damn, that looks bad. And then I was like, wait, it says it's for babies. Okay, that's fine. But then why is it okay for for TV shows for babies to be bad? It just makes you think. It makes you think. Just kidding. Babies look at this and they probably think that they could eat whatever's on screen. They have an iPad to slap it. Will we ever see So Speed Dwarf Fortressing? Uh, that game looks like I don't think I would play it. <laughs> 
Huh? Nightbot's trying to start showing me in the donations? Fuck it. I'm not listening to bot commands anymore. How about that? Unless you chat say. Sorry Nightbot, thank you. I'm not saying anything. Looks like you're responding to commands right now. Looks like you're responding just fine. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Door Fortress seems like the kind of, I look at it. First of all, it looks like Habbo Hotel. Uh, that's all, I'm gonna end there. You know what, I'm not gonna say anything else. Babies deserve to choo choo choose better entertainment. <laughs> Messiah. I had actually I had a few people telling me to play Messiah. I don't, I don't I don't know anything about that game aside from the oof. It does look pretty crazy. Okay, now I'm remembering you're a baby that possesses other people. I remember it. I remember it now. Yeah, honestly, I'd probably that's that's a that's very much an old games world head game. I fucking I watched that Tommy Tallarico video recently. Everyone was telling me to watch it, and I was like, oh, I'll watch it. And I ended up actually watching it over the course of like three nights because it's like a fucking hour long or something. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so fucking funny. It's so funny. Tommy Tallarico, Tommy Tallarico was described to me as a as a game um, game clam character, and it's very much true. It was a very inspiring video. <laughs> yeah, so that was great. Um, anyhow, we've been we've been we've been we've been hanging around for thirty minutes. We should get into the game. Yeah. Get in the game. EA Sports. Get in the game. Let's see here. No, no, stop. That is, so the reason why that happens is because I have it set so that I can press, I could toggle these videos on and off with my with my stream deck, but for some reason, whenever I switch into the scene, it just activates automatically and I can't get it to not do that. So it's genuinely happening without me wanting it to happen. Oh, this game support controller? I fucking hope it does. Here we go. It does it. Oh, it does. Sorry. What's this? Language? Okay. How's the how's the frame rate on on stream? Is it it's looking like it's running bad. I don't know if it's just the preview though. Awful. Bad. Okay, let me see if I can just turn down the settings. <laughs> See, my FPS on, on my monitor is fine. It's just, for some reason, OBS is have really struggling to capture it. So, I'll turn it down just for you. Let's turn down... Let's just overall turn it down. How do I do that now? Let's do medium, see if that... That's a bit better on stream, but not... Not enough. It's pretty cool that it just kind of like it loads. Ooh, boy, that looks crunchy. I kind of want to play it like that, but it's probably not intended to be played like this.
why is it uh, why is it oh when i switch out of the game it's suddenly running fine on obs but when i give it focus it's awful that's so weird That's so strange. Let's see. What would fix that? Limit capture frame rate. Maybe. Don't use anti-cheat. Mode. Oops. Yeah, that's not helping. I might have to I might have to play. You probably gotta cap your frame rate. The game's eating up OBS's resources. How do I do that? I think that's an NVIDIA setting, right? Let's see. Until then you get to see the nice smooth vision. NVIDIA. I hate all these apps. Do I have to go into the GeForce experience? <laughs> or do I, oh, there's a control panel, I see. I think I could cap frame rates for specific apps through that. Yeah, I could do that. I'm so fucking smart. I should go to I should go to heaven for that. You will. Thank you. Thank you. Um add Add a program. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. NVIDIA control panel is not happy with me. Oh, oh. oh, no, it's okay now. Choo Choo Charles, add selected program. Max frame rate. On, let's say, 60 FPS. Apply. Uh, maybe I have to, I think I have to restart the game for that to change. Oh, that's cute. The train goes away when you restart the game. That's fun. Where did it go? It, off. Mm, that's a little bit better. This is so this is a weird problem to have. I don't really know why that's this is the case. The frame rate's capped, so Oh, okay. So we could get away with playing on high, just not epic. Oh no, epic looks oh, epic's chugging a little bit. Let's just play on high. It's not that big of a difference. There you go. That's fine. We got it. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. All right, let's start. Yay. I'm going to turn off the light. Apparently, this is scary. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. Yeah, I'm going to turn this up. It's kind of quiet. There you go. How's that? So many friends, and even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. It'll be the biggest attraction your city's ever seen, and you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. Was that me or was that the person talking? Loading world. You pick up where you left off every time. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. 
We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Is the mouth supposed to be moving? Is that is that one of the things we gave up when we switched to high from epic? That would be kind of funny. Nope. I think <laughs> Hey, you know what? I don't really care. I like it actually. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Stay close. Charles Track with items with RT. Yep, tip. Or X. Yo, hey, yo, there's a body here. Are you just gonna. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> just. Guess we don't talk about that body. <laughs> I have nothing more to lose here. I've made up my mind to swim to the mainland. Yo, you didn't make it far at all, bro. <laughs> really didn't get that far. <laughs> Fucking died of a belly flop. That's so sad. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, I want to turn on V-Sync. It's, it's tearing a bit on my screen here. Oh, I could just limit the FPS in here. Oh, th these settings are actually pretty good. Okay. There we go. That's a bit better. Hey, Eugene. Oh, Lord. What's going on with... There's a train shed at the top of the hill. Yeah. One of the train operators was killed early on by the beast. So his old engine should be in there. If we can get to it, it could be an indispensable tool on our journey. Stay close. We're... Whoa, yo! Why? Hello! Yo! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me to stay close and then fucking just sprint out. What's this? It's still looking kind of choppy on screen on stream a little bit. It's like not. What if I turn down post processing? So I don't really care about that that much. Mm. I don't like that's choppy as fuck. That's like not great. Why is it why is it so bad on in OBS? Um let's turn on maybe textures. This is another thing I can do in the display. Let's set the limit to 60 here. Whatever. I feel like that might be the best that we get. Ah, oh, shucks, it's locked. I love that you can just hang on these screens. This is great. Not to worry, we can there's a small shake this map. I just marked the location on it. See if the key is up there. And I'll look around some more down here. But up. But up. Whoa, hey. Whoa, that map effect is kind of sick. Baby's first mission.
that's kind of crazy. That's kind. That's some GTA. Even GTA doesn't do that that well. That's kind of crazy. Oops. I have to go there. Oh my god, sprinting looks so fucking bad on stream. Movement in general is so choppy. That's a big ass key. There's the train. Let me look around a little bit. Nothing. What about those targets, though? Your epic train. <laughs> Use it to quickly navigate the island. <laughs> <laughs> I love my epic train. Speed level, damage level, armor level. Oh, wow. This is really in more in depth than it. Green, yellow. Gunning platform. Look to aim. Guns will get briefly jammed. All guns have infinite ammo. Ooh, wow. This is kind of hard to aim without a reticule. Where's Eugene? How do I get off? Oh. Oh! Well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> <laughs> we can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for us? Stop. Oh yeah, shit. Baby. We're coming for you, Charles. Do you hear that? Oh shit. It's him. It's him. Get to the gun. What are you doing, bro? Shit, no! <laughs> oh fuck! Well, I'm turning this down. I can't believe Eugene's dead. This is actually kind of scarier, to be real. Wait, do I restart? Nope, Eugene is dead. 
Wait, where's his body? Oh, whoops, alerts are not, uh... Sorry about that. <laughs> you got to see the corner of that alert. There you go, that's so much better. Damn, fucking Eugene. Okay, I need to get rid of that marker that I placed there, because it's going to be on my screen forever, I think. Oh, okay. I can't remove a waypoint, but I can place one. I guess we can only go forward. TR. This is sick. This is the kind of game I want. Look, I just get to stand on the train. I'm sure I'm sure there are virtual like railroad games where you just get to sit on the train in first person and go through like a town. Oh, what's that? A bed. Nothing here. Eugene Memorial Fund. Oh. Hello. Do you have any wares for me? You must be the archivist that Eugene told us about. We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament. I got some bad Charles news about Eugene. Tony Warren. Tittle. <laughs> you know, that old trainee need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. There are some metal scraps in my barn. Here's the key to the barn. <laughs> Very straightforward. Let me in your fucking house! Is this the barn? Where's your barn? Oh. Damn, you just got cheese and metal here. Yay. Even though Eugene has promised to send help once he reaches the mainland, I've realized he never mentioned if he'd return. I suppose he's the type of person to ignore the fine details of a plan. Are they stranded on this island? I don't know. There's not much here.
I guess you don't want to talk. I got I got nine scraps. Let's um uh, let's level up speed. Armor. Speed. I wanna go super fast. Oh and let's repair. Bye Tony Tittle. Wait. I'm back. Do you have any more scraps? I thought not. I guess Tony Tittle is immortal. Good to know. Oops. Ah! Okay, the train stops. Okay, I was about to say, there's gonna be a problem. <laughs> That's smart. I would have. Uh, yeah, I guess there's. N if that happens and there's no automatic train stopping mechanic, you're kind of just fucked forever. Chee chee. Thank you, Aspiring Ghoul. What's that over there? I wish I had binoculars. What's that sound? Do I have a mission right now? No, I don't. I'm kind of just going around. Oh, what's, what's this? Unmet NPC. No, I don't want to turn here. Fuck. Oh, is there a whistle train? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have to go stop and change this. Where's the switch? There it is. Oh, there's the NPC. I need to stop. Maybe there's stuff here too. Uh oh, this is not. A 
I see scraps over there. Oh. Whatever the fuck is over here is really loud. What the hell? What's this? What was the, 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 so loud over there? Thank you, Honest Tom's Discount Beef. A powerful train named Charles Entertainment Choose. Chewy Charles. Hello. My goodness. The others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure, but you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Well, how much do you have? Bring the journal next time you're here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm really close up to you. Why do I need to do that when I can find scrap everywhere? Whoa, that's far. Oh, that's not too far. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, it's been, it's been a minute since the last fucking Awooga. Oh my god, that actually caught me. What the hell? Why is everyone back in class now? Oh my god, why are there so many class breaking? What the, what the fuck is happening? You're gonna break it! That Awooga scared my cat. Fucking big thank you for the Awooga. Big shouts out. Sorry, uh, your name is now drowned under a million glass ball shatters. There's like, <laughs> my doesn't know how to handle so many glass balls, so it's just like playing like 0 0.0, .0 0.1 seconds of all the sounds. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Thank you, I'm gonna have to find your name. I can't find it. Where was it? A witch bird. Thank you, a witch bird, for the awuga. It has caused a massive glass ball event. A big thank you, I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> if you could hear me talking right now over this. You broke this, the sound and talk. I keep on wanting to call it Thomas. Oh my 
god. Well, thank you. Big, 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 big thank you to uh, was it a witch bird. And thank you from XYZ for the disgusting Lunchable Hearts twice. <laughs> I gotta turn the alerts down, please. As people are people are activating the, the loud alerts. <laughs> Why do you come here? <laughs> Welcome to How loud is this? <laughs> that was actually not too bad. That was a bit less scary. I think now because we <laughs> I forgot that was an alert. <laughs> Psychic attack. Thank you. Thank you for that dono. Thank you. Thank you to from XYZ. Sorry, I didn't get the I was too shocked by the 69 donation. Thank you for that. Clean up on aisle five. Love Glassware. the loud. Clean up oh wow, on you can see the lightning five. even on the on the the map. But yeah, big thank you, big thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate being attacked by loud notifications. This, this, this game is a map. Okay, I forgot what was happening. Oh yes, I have to just try and go get that person's journal. I have to update that with the Al Pacino version. Kanibli with the 25, thank you. Thank you for the egg prayer. Let's all let's all sit in prayer for a little bit. Egg. Egg. Thank you for the egg. Thank you for the 69. Thank you for the disgusting lunchable hearts. Thank you for the awuga. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Well, you got it. <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> these are all. I must have set these up like months ago and then completely forgotten about them. I had. <laughs> I did not know that was an alert either. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for the 40. I greatly appreciate it. The, the classics the classic scorp skip that's once I once I learn heavy rain we're gonna have a, a second scorps a scorp skip we're gonna have to find one ah! we've got a couple more Thank you, thank you. I think I actually turned that one down. I got that one once on stream, and it was so loud that I, I think I turned it down. Thank you, from XYZ. Thank you for the 66.6. .6. I appreciate it. That is one of my favorite alerts. That is That was... That noise, I think... I don't remember where that noise was from. Classic. Monkey Eat a Pizza in New York. Eating a, a big slice. Monkey. <laughs> Thank you. Super Mario. Thank you, right. fucking lasers. Spaghetti. Y'all are pulling up with a donut tonight. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Oops. Damn it. Now that's never gonna go away. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. What the fuck? Okay, I gotta go. What is what's happening? Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Wait! I have that sound! Oh, I have that! Listen! <laughs> I have the same sound! <laughs> Thank you, Xbox. No, that wasn't me who did that. 
That was the game. I died and it played it played the exact same. I have a button on my stream deck right now that says dead and the background is a is a man making a lint chocolate. I don't know why I put that as the background. I have to I'll put a picture on my Instagram or something. Well, I got the mission. I guess I kind of that was a speedrun technique. But me making poop man? Excuse me, what? Oh, it's oh, the me making poop image. Oh, it's the me making poop man. What? The poop man. What? The poop man? Poop man's maker. What's not to understand that? I just thought it was a stock image of a man making chocolate. What is that link? Me making poop, but it, no, it's not the same picture, but it might be the same man. Lind chocolate man. Here it is. It's this. This is the picture. I didn't know that this was a meme. I thought it was just a picture of a man making chocolate and I thought it was funny. It's still making poop. You, you, you think whatever you want. It's the same one just flipped no. You're just flipped. Let me... Okay, let me increase speed here. I just want to go so fast. What was that sound? I have to go back. What was that sound? This is just train wrong. Uh, nice one. Wow! I love that. I love that Scorp Skip sound. Thank you, Inverted Arrow. That is a poop man. Thank you. I see. I don't see the spitting mice very often when there's bits. I don't know how that works, but all the bits should be spitting mice. Hello. Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know. Do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. <laughs> what? I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? So you could burn them? Why? This is some weird mission. <laughs> For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down the drawing and burned it. <laughs> Why do you have- what do you have against drawings on trees? Fuck this drawing. Let me in your house! It's a fucking video game. Okay. What can I upgrade? I have four. Let's upgrade... Oh, wait. Wait, where is the field? Maybe it's nearby. Oh, it's fucking back there. I'm gonna go get this person's journal. It's probably over here. Why do I hate damage up? Because I don't know how often I'm gonna be fighting Charles. Also, it said minus three when I got killed, and at minus three what? I don't understand that. Thank you, Corvo to pop. Soup. Thank you for the soup. Minus three scraps? Okay, that's not th too bad. I just found three right now. 
Dying doesn't matter. What a chair. Is this not... Is this not where the journal would be? Where is your journal? Oh, second door. There it is. But up. But up. But up. The Charles Mining Company. Faster. Faster. So I want to see maybe if I can go faster. So what I might do is I might do a full circle. I'll just go all the way around and come back. Uh oh, do I have time? Oh, yes. We uh oh There's a mission nearby, right? No. Oh shit, we can't go all the way around unless we back up. And trains are fucked up. I guess I can go all the way. Oh, look at all these people here. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down there then. Haha! <laughs> Oh, so be the squid of. That's. I could see how that would be the case. This island is so ugly. Remember, I, I turned everything down to medium graphics, so. Part of the ugliness might be just because I turned it down. We're about to pass by where Eugene died, I think. Let's pay our respects. I wonder what determines why or why or when Charles pulls up. This is all I fucking want. Is there a train? Is there a game like this in VR? I I definitely want like a train riding VR game. I feel like that'd be so much fun. There has to be. I hear a loon. I played a rail shooter. Uh, wait, wait, which direction am I going in? Oh, left. That's where I want to go, right? No, that's not where I want to go. One person made this. Yeah, this is, I think this is a solo dev game. Which is why, like, I'm not, I'm trying, I'm like, I don't want to shit on, like, the way that it looks and all that, all this stuff, because, like, I'm playing this knowing that it's, like, a single person effort, which is very impressive. I thought, I thought, I didn't know for sure if it was a one person team, or a one person game. Um, 
I thought it could have been a team, but for some reason I just assumed one person made it. we'd have a newcomer soon i suppose that would be you eugene's dead there's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my here's the case and as a side note talk to anyone around here and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help anyone not wearing a mask that is check out the balcony and take whatever you can use good luck with everything put the gun not facing me i think it's because she said not wearing a mask because I 12 think months, baby. the uh, anti-mask? What the fuck? How did you make that assumption? I think it's because Choo Choo Charles has a mask. Is that not it? That's a mask. Whoa! Fucking sick! Oh, there's oh, I got an achievement. Oh, there's people wearing Charles masks. We've been waiting patiently. The past few days have been chaotic. Charles has been more aggressive lately. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, Eugene. Ooh, the performance here is really good. Hee hee hoo hoo. Almost 30. Thank you, Shark Waves. Let me into your house as a video game. Come on. Nobody's learned from Legend of Zelda 2. So, was that even a mission? I just basically got a bunch of scrap. I want to see what's up here. Where's the train? I'm actually getting further away from it. I'm going to stop. I'm fucking scared that he's going to pull up while I'm like going here though. What about stay out of the house? I have that game. I was going to, before I remembered that this game came out today, I was going to play stay out of the house and uh, night of the something. Whoopsie. Oh, hi. What are you making? Very cool hat. Well, hello, darling. I'm making a fresh stew with ingredients from my very own swamp. Nope, I don't want any. Focus on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, <laughs> I'll pay you some. You want me to bring a body? You'll need to be wary of fairy. The swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around. And don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. Okay. I don't know if I want to get a body. I'm kind of okay not carrying a body with me. Human included. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I like that salt is there three times. Swamp water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat, salt. That's a big ass bed. All right, I'll see a body. Oh, it's right there. Oh, might as well do it now. You're right here. Why can't you do it? Shh. 
Jesus is Lord. 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 Inverted arrow with the four gifted soaps. Thank you. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? That, that was so sudden. That, well, she told me, be wary of Barry. Okay, thanks for that information. What does be wary mean? Don't go in the water? You should have just told me not to go in the water. Fuck. Let me spend all my scrap. Unless it's game over if I don't have any more scraps. I want to do fucking speed, man. Let's do... There you go. Damage and speed. Granny warned me about the wind. I want to do speed. Not like that. I should have worded that better. Watch out for splashing and stay still. Mm. See, I thought that was kind of just like flavor text, you know? So that means, so I can't, so how the fuck? So how the fuck do I go do this without splashing? Okay. Oh, is it coming towards me? Oh, it's coming towards me! This is actually kind of scary. Ah! You're too close, Barry. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! 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 <laughs> Okay, Barry's going away. This is gonna take forever. Barry has... won't leave me alone! Oh, phew, okay. Where's the fucking body? I'm doing all this for a body. There's a... oh. Oh, I thought you meant like a human body. Okay. Um. God damn! Fuck it, just book it. Uh. I'm so not close.
Getting closer. Where the fuck? Oh. There, I got your fish. What a delicacy you found. Here are those scraps I offered. Have a safe night, little one. Bye. How many scraps did that give me? Was that even worth it? Where's my train? I see it. Oh, 34 is not bad. Let's do one speed. Damage, armor. Damage. We're gonna go so fast. Alright, I think I need to stop here. Say hi to some people. Hello. Look, kid. I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking sentence. <laughs> if you can get that chest open, you've earned my respect. <laughs> oh shit. Ah. Oh shit, I see. All the way over there. Back up. Wait, maybe that was nothing. Oh shit, there he is! I don't wonder if we could stealth by. Is he coming? I see him. It's over there. Well, that's really close. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, what am I supposed to do? I can't turn around. I can't turn around. Fuck it, we're going forward. We're just going through him. Move, bitch. Ah, what the fuck? Ah. Damn, I'm dead. 
That's the same fucking sound, I swear to God. I literally, I think I googled bell toll sound. <laughs> that was one of the first results. Like a deep fried gun, them. Choo choo. Damn, how do you like, how do you, how do you tell him to go away? Guess you have to kill him? Oh, I have to repair from the beginning. Well, I have no scraps now. I guess that means if I die, it's a game over. I have to go get that man's respect. Will he only stop if I bring his health down to zero? Or will he just like go away if I fight him? That's what I want to know. The map thing is cool, but I would have liked a mini map. Oh. This is interesting. Spider. I found your stupid little drawing. <laughs> well. Fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> That's an odd looking piece of junk you found inside. You earned my respect. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Talk about one crazy train by Ozzy Osbourne. LOL. All aboard. All aboard. There's someone I can talk to right here. Oh, the boy! The monster hunter has arrived, Ice. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently <laughs> harmed. I, I, I. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. <laughs> okay. Continue. Dispersed around the island are three eggs. No. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. <laughs> what? Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I can't believe we're doing- Let me in your house! I can't believe we're doing the fucking eggs. I can't believe this is about trying to kill a demon train by placing eggs in temples. The mob is hiding an important egg in this- <laughs> What a great- What a great fucking pop-up. It says it's a weapon mission. An important egg. Whoa. Oh shit. <laughs> hey, dude. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but it nearly cooked myself alive in that shed as I would love to save the shed, though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so, uh, Weapon like this could come in handy. What the fuck you want me to do? Well, how am I? Oh. Oh, that's convenient. How did he not figure that out?
Hey, dude. Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. Woohoo! Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere. Okay, well, I'll take it and I'll go away. Thank you. What you got in here? Orange paint can be added to my train. Oh, sick. I can customize my train. That's actually cool. How do I do that? I don't want to see it anywhere. Orange, like the orange clan. Gotta go with speed 16, baby. And then damage. Where's the flamethrower? The flamethrower is supposed to be in here, right? Oh, I see now. Oh, there it is. Oh, sick. Oh, it overheats fast. That's pretty cool. Oh, so there's different weapons. That's neat. All right. What's that box over there? It looks like I can open that. Maybe I can shoot it. Open it and you will earn my respect. I have to start saying that now that when I, whenever I need like really small tasks done. Can you open this jar of pickles? You'll earn my respect. Oh, nice. Yummy, yummy. Thank you, Sally Grappo, for the prime soup. You get the post ship. There's probably something in there. Oh, wait, that's where I'm supposed to go. The map looks so massive when you zoom out. But you go by so fast when you have so much speed. Hotter for Fieri. What? <laughs> Thank you, Rip. Ask Jeeves. Is Ask Jeeves really dead? Jesus is Lord, Lord, Deep Fried Gun with the five gifted subs. Thank you for spawning a beautiful scorb. You're helping me get through this dark dungeon. Urgent letter to Mr. Warren by Eugene. Rest in peace. There's something strange here. Cool. Stealth. Lean to the left by using LB. Lean to the right by using RB. <laughs> Thank you for the score. Oh, I'm about to get lost, aren't I? Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, no. This looks good, though. Oh, ow. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay. Oh, oh. I'm losing respect. <laughs> well, how about that? Oh, shit, yeah. I'll put that on. That's cool. That's looking good. I'm going to be looking like a Granny Smith apple.
Oh, I hear whistling. And peeing. This is pretty cool that this is all in the same fucking map. Oh, Jesus Christ, that skirt. Ah! Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh, I'll take this. Okay. Oh, my fucking God, that scared me. Oh, I hate that yelling. That sounds too real. What the fuck? Oh! Scrap. Oh, my God. Dude, that that yelling and the effect that they put on it was that got me. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh shit. Do that got I hate that. That's actually creepy. Come out. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I got something to show you, bro. Come here. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you, you, cool. I want to see you try. Come over here. Check this out. That's right, bitch. Oh, I can't take his gun. Oh, shit. I got scared there. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought I got like fucking like booted out of the game or something. <laughs> For some reason I thought LT would like make me crouch. Well, I want to go in there now and see about other stuff that I might have gotten. See all about that. You know? I want to see about that stuff. <laughs> put up, uh, put I want to see all about that. Put like put plus or minus when you if about that. Put plus or minus about that. A lot of pluses. Nobody's minus. Okay, so I didn't go down this path. I wonder where this goes. Right here. Oh, nowhere. Okay. That was hearing, not knowing someone was in here and hearing just some fucking like normal ass dude voice just go, hey, with like the reverb was like, that was scary. That got me. That fucking got me. It's like, it's not like overly scary, like hearing a voice go, hey. It's like, it's normal enough that like that could, if that, if I heard that when I was on the street, like outside and like nobody was outside and it was at night, I would shit my pants. So they got, they got that fear going. I wonder if this is somewhere I could go if I'm being hunted by Charles and I would be safe. This would probably be a strat, although he catches up really fast to the train, so. So I got an egg. The fuck do I do with this egg now? I have to bring it to a temple? Oh, I have to bring it here. No, that's the journal, returnal. What about this? Oh, that's the boulders. I guess I just have to hold on to it until I get all three somehow. This game's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, let's do green. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's looking cool. Chat keeps fucking, like, not scrolling for me on my screen. There we go. Percy, we're fucking Percy in here. Percy was always my favorite train. Okay, I'm going to go... I guess I, have to, I should go here to give my mission to Santiago. And... So I should stop around here. Can I set up a chroma key? Well, that, I think, would also fuck with the trees. I don't want to do that. I'm supposed to stop here anyways. Oh, I need to back up. When did the train get a fresh coat of paint? We found green paint in a chest somewhere. Thank you. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. But, um, here are those scraps I... No, I wish I did. What do you, what do you have in there? here. Ooh, that's far. I guess I don't have to do all those missions. They're kind of boring. It's retrieving a journal and then going back for scraps. I've been pretty good on scraps. Oh, I'm very good on scraps. I'm almost max speed. Oh shit. So I'm gonna skip that one then. I might as well if I'm passing by... If I'm passing by... The boulder field, I might as well go there. Oh shit, wrong way. It was already where I needed to go. Damn, I can't do like some cool shit where I hop off, make it go backwards and then jump back on. You derail the train? I don't think you can. Crap box. Yeah, I'm num num num. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to scroll chat again. Okay, stop here. I hope I get to see these drawings. Ooh, pages found. I get to, I hope to, I hope I get to see like actual drawings when I pick them up. Oh yeah, look. Ooh, uh.
Don't know what that could be. Whoa. Whoa, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Excuse me? What? You didn't tell me anything about this? What the fuck? <laughs> Ah! Oh shit! What? This? I don't remember anyone mentioning that there's a fucking demon following me. Is this Splendor Man? Wait, I have to fucking fix why the chat embed in OBS keeps scrolling too. That's so weird. This has Splendor Man in it. Is Splendor Man really this easy though? I did not expect Chi Chi Charles to have mini bosses. Yeah, there's fucking lots. It's actually pretty cool. I'm glad I did the side mission after all. I need three more pages. Whoa, you could go up rocks? That sucks. One more. Oh, I got. Oh, <laughs> what a fucking what an ending to that. <laughs> That was fun. Oh, why is there still a thing here? Oh, where's my train? Oh, shit. Oh, no. How the fuck do I get out of here? The train is so far. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I can go inside this house. If she'll let me in. Open the fucking door. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. You know who's coming? I'm getting out of here. I'm hiding in here. I think I can make it. I gotta book it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh! <laughs> no, I'm gonna fucking die. Ah! At least I only lost three scraps. I feel like minus three, three scraps is not that big of a punishment. I must have had like 40. She just fucking, yeah, she was just chilling there.
It's like, yeah, it happens. Oh yeah, I'm good on scraps. I got max speed, baby. This is the power of max speed. All right, let's go back and then go here. How is this game? It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. It's a nice concept. It's... Navigating around the map with the train is pretty fun. I enjoy that. It was like... It was like $27 Canadian. I don't know how much that is American. It's probably 20... It's probably $20 American, right? Yeah. So twenty dollars American. I feel like for tw I I guess I'd have to see if it's worth twenty bucks. Um. Thank you, Banksy Home Depot. <clears throat> I went to a model train convention one time and the people there don't like it when you call an engine with no cars attached to it a train. Apparently the proper catch-all term is locomotive. Oh. So a train has cars attached to it and a locomotive is just this part. Well, too bad. I do like the word locomotive though. Nice map. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. Why does it sound like... It sounds like a podcast. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here... I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Who's... who's... Sneeg... Sneeg Snag? <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> What's a Sneeg Snag? A YouTuber? A streamer, sne sne Sneed, Sneed, Sneed Snag. Crazy. Okay, so. Bunker break in. I can get a weapon from there. Find a way into the nearby bunker. Oops. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, Scorby sock pads. Hey. Sock pads is a very clear meaning. You chilling up here? It's Friday night, baby. It's Friday night. It's fucking Friday night.
Greg, by the way. In case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mind boss, is Thank you, Chow Horde. Three for the time soon. Locked away. Okay, so Warren, the mind boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. Got it. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three. And use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. One of the things is in the north mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the entrance. Okay. Got it. What do you what are you drawing here? I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is that Mr. Warren Warlord III is trying to hatch and raise more of these eight-legged critters, a whole army of who knows what perp for who knows what purpose they found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from the cave in the genius all right so that cave is whoa somewhere That cave is far away. All the way over here. All right, well, we're gonna keep going forward. What am I supposed to be doing here? Find a way into the nearby bunker and retrieve the box of rockets inside. Ooh, I got dynamite. Oh, <laughs> that's what that's for, I guess. Where's the rocket? Oh, <laughs> there's more. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Why did I follow it? <laughs> I like, I, I had that moment where I pieced everything together right before I died. Where I was like, I was chasing it, and I was, and I was like, oh fuck, wait, that's a door. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, those are explosives. <laughs> and that's how my story ends. And that's how my story ends. I'll never find out what happened to me in that diner. Alright, do not chase the explosives. There you go. Box of rockets. I like this bass. It's in my ears right now. GPS on the table. So do I have to go back? Where is the person that uh, asked for the rockets? What do I do with... Oh, it's here, right? Yeah. I have to go back. Ooh, it even colors my weapons. That's fun.
Hey. The launcher is in complete working order. Oh, and take good care of it. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. Is this it? What does it do? Sick. All right, we got a we got a ways away before we get to the north mine. We got a ways to go. Let's sit and enjoy the ride. Wait, let's face the water. This is a nice scene. A nice, relaxing train ride. Oh, shit. Wrong way. this do that lever that that meter oh is it speed no it doesn't really change i don't think any of them change really I'm safe. I got my fucking rocket launcher. I got my flamethrower. Nice, nice try. Uh, shit. All right, we stop here. Yes. We'll actually be safer in the mines. You shouldn't be here. Oh shit. I forgot those people exist. that person go oh, Jesus fucking Christ that scared the shit out of me oh zigzag oh, shit was there more oh, oh, oh. I close this door no I can't oh fuck this is a bad idea probably I'm gonna lead them out and then fucking destroy them. Don't let them get away. That's right. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so scared. Ah. Where's the train? Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Ah! Oh. Surprise! Hey, 
Get out of here! Oh shit, you still fucking shooting at me? Are you crazy, bro? What the <laughs> That's great. Imagine seeing someone get fucking blasted by a rocket launcher mounted to a train then having the fucking balls to run up to them to try to shoot them point blank while they're on the rocket. Now these mines are safe. I know what's over here. One scrap. I can't wait to find the egg. Make sure nobody gets goes near the egg. <laughs> Uh oh. What does this do? Thank you, Eternal Boy Scout. Hi, Scrumpy. How's the train? This is a fun game. I wonder if I could get that scrap. It's so not worth it, but I want to try. What was that? Hey! Whoop! Whoop! Fucking looped! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Ow! Fucking shit! No, I, I, I took a scrap so I could respawn faster. It was actually a speedrun technique. Everyone just... I saved about two minutes there. Do I have the egg, though? Jesus is Lord, Lord, Lord. Sand from Digimon Survive. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you, Sand, Sand from Digimon Survive for the five gifted subs. Thank you for the score. That's a- I don't think I've seen that name before. Shouts out. Uh, how do I know if I have the egg or not? Do I have to go back? Oh. I only have- oh fuck, I lost the blue egg. Damn it. Ah. Uh, I have to go back. Oh shit, the oh, they all respawn. Yeah, come here, come here. You know what? I'm gonna have to get everyone out of this mine and then kill them all. Thank you, Teleghost. Oh, I'm stuck. Let's sob. <laughs> Thank you. Come out, come out. 
speedrunning this shit. Oh, I don't remember ever coming up here. Uh oh, is this smart? I feel like I'm gonna get shot. Oh, am I immortal? I'm immortal while lockpicking. Here's a trick. <laughs> The life hack. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh blue paint. Fuck yeah. Oh shit. Now I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Holy shit. That fucking kicked my ass. I wonder if I could aggro this guy. Get this guy! Oh, actually, that was a way to escape them. That's smart. That's <laughs> fucking Call of Duty. Got a visual. Anyone got a visual? All right, let's go one more time. Whoa. Oh God, it lags so much in this fucking room. I gotta leave. Oh shit. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, oh my God. No trespassing. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I love how they boost me when they shoot me. Get a ball. Ba, ba, ba. <clears throat> oh, God. All right, you've chased me enough. Now it's time to end your fucking life. Go, 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 go. Ah, stand still. God, this is hard. Ah. Switching the flamethrower. Oh, oh, he doesn't like bridges, does he? Oh, okay. I got a feeling it's coming back though. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta stop and heal. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Ay. Oh, the flamethrower is actually really effective. I wonder if I could do the flamethrower and then switch to the rocket. Get closer. Ah! That's right. That's fucking right. Woo. Yo, we fought off fucking Charlotte. Now we have to go all the way back. <laughs> I spent so many scraps on healing. Imagine seeing this as a bystander. Yeah, a, a train fucking speeding by. Shooting a flamethrower at another train with spider legs. That would be a great visual. Twenty-seven Wahoo. Here for the twenty-seven months, Bumble has been.
to. So we need more armor. The armor is where we're struggling there. Oh, another one. Oh, there's a little house here. Might as well go here. Is this a mission? Oh, it is. What's the plot? Kill the train. Uh, we have to gather another egg so we can have three eggs and then get the train to kill the three eggs. To Mr. Reverend, today, Reverend, today's sermon was true inspiration during these trying times. We're well thought out and thorough in every manner. Oh yeah, I got blue paint. You know what we gotta do. Sermon outline. God is very, very mad. I think probably Charles may be devil. 96% certain. Always sneaky. Spider versus snake. Spiders have more legs. God always wins. Sacrifices. Ask for volunteers. Don't cry a lot. Only a little. <laughs> Don't cry a lot. Only a little. All right, so we got blue. Oh, the blue looks good. Or we could just be like the cool devil train and just be black. Oh, that doesn't look good because of the rust. If it was like full on, just like super dark black, we gotta go blue. Shouts out to Thomas and BT. Oh wait, there was a mission here. I just didn't. Didn't look at it. Where is it? I'm facing the wrong way. There it is. The archivist, in all your radiant glory. Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, <laughs> I have to worry about I something. love whenever they talk about eggs. There's an ancient shrine on There's the There's NPCs, yeah. A pyramid of sorts with a curious prism located at the top. The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose. To destroy monster eggs. <laughs> Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully Sick! Moved, a massive beam of energy is emitted, seemingly drawn from the eggs themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. <laughs> it sounds like Charles TTS. Has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mind key. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. That sounded like, that sounded like a TTS, um, something about the cadence sounded like a, a TTS explanation of like a movie. Oh, too much text. Let me in! I feel like I might beat this in, in one sitting. I've only been playing this for about two hours. Though I, I think I did, I think I did skip a few like optional missions here. Yeah, I skipped this one and this one. I'm pretty much going through the required missions and the weapon missions. Last one beat it in three hours. Yeah, I feel like if you don't do all the optional shit, you could probably beat it in three hours pretty easily. Whoa, nice fucking setup here. Can I have this? So, the fabled hunter has finally arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles. Bob was such a brave man. If you take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will ya? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. Okay, sure. I'll, whatever. As long as I can get a weapon. Ow! But I, I have to go there anyways. Sick. 
So I'll back up and do that other mission, and then we're good to go. Yeah, I could probably beat this tonight. I feel like I'm gonna beat this tonight. Guy looks so good in blue. After I beat this, I wanna I wanna rewatch that one Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, Texas speech video. The one that we watched forever ago. Weird that there's no red train. I know, right? I mean, there's space. There's probably a, a red paint can somewhere. Gotta have James. We gotta represent the James James red train color. Nice house. This is probably the nicest place we've run into so far. Is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. <laughs> that video is so good. Wow, this fucking place is awesome. We have never... Oh, the miners held the mutiny against Warren. Warren Warlord. <laughs> Not surprising. Oh, hi. Scared me there. Everyone scares me in this game when I see them. Whoa. You're the archivist my father told me about. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Well, was your father named Eugene by any chance, Paul? Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Oh, fucking hell, get out of my face, Paul. That, that's not your fault. My FOV just changed. That was stressful. Um... RP Eugene. Eugene would have been so happy that we're actually going to take down Charles Entertainment Entertainment train. Oh, it's right there. How the fuck is this plan going to work? Is a demon going to show up? I feel like that's what happens. How the so I here? Here. Where do you want me to put these, Paul? It said the supports, right? Oh ah! Thank you, train freak. Chi -chi I, on that? I think I'm supposed to go on that bridge. Smooch. She chose love. Wait, I'm supposed to go here. Bombs placed. Bombs? Oh, which ones am I missing? Unless I have to do it inside here? No. Oh, I didn't get these here. All right, easy mission. Hey. Hey. Hey, Paul, your mission was the easiest one in the game. How do you feel about that? That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Here, take this. 
It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared Fucking enough, temple. you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. I love how much they're hyping this battle up. They keep calling it a, mor a mortal battle. A mortal duel. I, I really like the energy. This has some evil dies tonight vibes. In his shit. So I'm gonna go here. Get the last weapon. And then I'm gonna do the minor tomb. And then maybe I'll do this mission. And then this one. Honestly, I could probably 100% the game very easily. I'm like almost there. Or not 100%, but very close to 100%. Might as well just do the other optional missions. I love how the music has become very angelic, choir-like. Feeling like some Indigo Prophecy music. All right, I got to switch. Which way are we going here? No, oh, let's stop, 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 stop. Upgrade some stuff here. Let's do armor. I feel like damage wise we're good. It's just on armor that we're struggling. Oh. oh no, we're good. We're headed to the right spot. Hey, what hey, what'd you say? What? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? How did that person not hear what was happening? Hey, what's up? I need to switch to rocket. That's taking too long. Hey, bro. Uh, why do they sound like Conqueror's bad fur to NPCs? That is such a specific... But very good comparison. Oh, look at all the masks. Scary. Like frog. Trains can't be scary. I got scared a few times. I was actually more scared by the humans running around yelling and going, Hey, in the cave. But Charles is still... It is pretty... Now that I've kind of driven him away... Ooh. Now that I've driven him away once, I'm a bit less scared of him. What am I looking for here? Pieces of the new weapon. Oh, it's probably in here. Ow. How do I get in here? I was given a key, wasn't I? Uh, where else am I supposed to find these parts? 
They were all guarding this area, so I feel like it would be here. Unless there's a clue in here, I didn't actually finish this. Some sort of temple in a large cavern. Oh, unless it's in here. I didn't check here. Oh, there's a key. There we go. I like this. This is like... It's not- the complexity is not so overwhelming that, like, I wouldn't be able to finish it in a couple of hours, but there's still enough to do and enough little tasks that, like, I'm not bored while doing it. I think this is a good bat, especially made by one person. That's, like, kind of crazy. Yay. What weapon is this, though? Is that like a double machine gun? Oh, shit. Damn, that's heavy duty. We got Bob. Uh oh. I think Tom uh, Thomas. I want to call him Thomas. All right, I'm going to go past that. Oh, I'm going to get the last egg first. And then I'm going to do these two last missions before anything else. I like games that are this size. I love experiences that I could finish pretty much completely within like three or four hours. We need more of that shit. This is like perfect video game length for me. Let's go in here. I'm probably gonna have to lure people out. Whoa, this is uh intense. You can reliably finish The Darkness 2 on a fresh save on hard in three or four hours. I remember playing a lot of The Darkness 2. That game is pretty fun. Uh, maybe it was The Darkness 1 that I played. I actually would be down to go back and look at that game. I remember that was the- Oh! Oh shit. You got me. Oh, oh, hey, let, let me pick up my shit. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! This is the Darkness 3. I didn't even know they made the Darkness 3. Yeah, Darkness 1 is PS3, Xbox. Okay, so the 360 one is the one that I played. I remember that was the coolest shit when you had, like, the arms coming out and, like... That was, like, unheard of. It's like, whoa... You could fling people around and they ragdoll. Probably not do that. Alright, I'm gonna aggro these two and then bring them to the truck, to the train. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this without aggroing anyone. It's actually pretty hard. Get him! Okay. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa! God damn! Ah! Ah!
Don't chase me, no! Take him out! Okay, where's my train? It's here somewhere. Blast him! Blast him! I think I lost my train. They're still chasing me. Oh, there it is. Hey, come over here, guys. Want to see something cool? Want to see something cool? Check this out. Beat it. Oh shit, wrong fucking thing. Shit. Don't break my train. There you go. How dare you. Still shitting. Still shitting. Still shitting. Still shitting. Ghost of Christmas Hi, future. Cuckoo. I can't believe it. Christmas is next week. Isn't that crazy? Well, my game was chugging there. Alright, I hope there's not more people that I have to s stealth near. The stealth is pretty wacky. We'll say that. There's blood here. Damn it, there's someone here. Dead end. Ah! It's a fucking dead end! What am I supposed to do? Oh! Woo! Woo! Get in the fucking egg, bro. Goodbye. Wee. Take it. Scrap. Scrap. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's a dead end. Oh. Oh my god. I'm almost dead. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a fuck? I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. What the fuck? Dude. Oh my god. That was annoying. What the? How was I supposed to find my way back in the dark? He did shoot me. <laughs> she shoots me three times and then chases after me. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, 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 oh. Let's fucking go, baby. I'm prepared, bitch. Look how fast I am. All right, switching to flamethrower. He hates that flamethrower. Flamebo is really strong. Oh shit! Train health! That's right! Need more armor. Alright, stop. Where the fuck are we now? Dude, where the fuck are we?
Uh, we just have to go back a little bit. Oh, you don't think the train can die, it just slows down or stops? Oh, okay. I thought it was like game over if the train reaches zero health. I have to go all the way back, switch, and then... You know what, I might as well do these two optional missions right now. No, but I don't want to have to go backwards all the way back. Yeah, never mind. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I can vouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so calm right now. Oh, and I'm, I'm gonna have to go back up, backwards up into the mines. Ooh, stop. Scraps are important now. Oh wait, where the fuck am I? Oops, damn it. Oh, I see now. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to go forward and then back. Have we met Charles yet? Multiple times. We're, we've gotten pretty good at getting Charles to go away. Wait, where's the switch? Oh, that's not even... Wait, where's the thingy? Okay, well, I'm going where I want it to go anyways. Do I want to go left? Yes, I want to go left. Up. Yeah, yeah. We can get a little bit closer. There we go. Let me mark it. Is there going to be a final boss loop? That would be interesting. I don't know what the- I'm assuming the final- I'm assuming the final boss fight will be fought as we're like going on the rails, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming- yeah, because we have to lure him into that one area, so... We just have to like survive until we get to that one area of the map, I guess. Now I vaguely know how to get to the egg, but... It was fucking hard last time. God damn it. We got company. Oh, thank God he doesn't know what this is. Okay, 
Okay, so when I run here, how do I go back up? Is there no way to go back up? I can't go back. Oh, this is where I died because I just didn't know what the fuck to do. So I can't exit from here. Hey, get out of here. Oh, God. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Shit. Hey, pick it up. Oh, maybe through here. I think I just went the wrong way. All right, now we know the trick here. This is how we not get shot. Oh yes, we got the red paint, baby. Goodbye. We got company. Not for long, goodbye. Where's the train? Where's the fucking train? Oh god. I swear I parked it right out in front. Get this guy! <laughs> Get this guy! Take him out! Where? Don't let him get away! I can't pull up my map because I'm gonna get shot. So I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm gonna shoot you! <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yes, it's close to here. I parked it right out front here. You wish you never came here. No one can hear you screaming out here. Yeah, baby. Hey. How's he so fast? <laughs> and that's the end of their story. Now we put on the red. Yeah. The blood train. All right, so that's done. We got all the fucking evil eggs. Whoop. Now I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna try and make it all the way here. Then I'm gonna go up, do all these missions. Actually, I'm gonna do this one on the way down. Where is that? Go back. Enough with Indigo Prophecy, can we leave that in the past? What? <laughs> well, that's the end of Indigo Prophecy, I guess. We never spoke about it again. We'll never know what happened if we talked about it more. I hear whistling. This is so satisfying to look at. All right, I stop here. You left and came back to your cat intently watching. That I need to cut away I need a cutaway of just like a video of fish that I could put up for when cats are watching.
fish game. One of my friend's cats is obsessed with uh, a game, an app just called Fish Game. It's just a, it's just fish, and then the cat attacks the screen and kills the fish. Scrap. Oh, it's right there. I could actually stop here. What about if your rabbit is watching? Then I'll, I'll put up an image of cables. Hello. Hey, you must be. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepper work. I'm gonna sue <laughs> what? The Wait, you're what? Warren once I <laughs> you're the what? And I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and I could scale them myself. But since you're here, go sniff around. As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. <laughs> <laughs> Umblipa, umblipa. That fucking that umblipa, umblipa shit comes into my head so intrusively at the most random times. Umblipa, umblipa. It's very satisfying to say. He just wants me to climb in here. Okay. Wait, how? What? Can I jump that? Damn, I can't. Whoa. They never had us platforming, but that's a Mario ass jump. That's a Luigi jump. Hey. Blipper, blipper. Oops. Ooh, scrap. I probably have to go down and then through. Ooh. Lime paint. I'm going to keep the red, though. Wait, was that it? Climb the tall abandoned towers to find the missing files. Okay, that's not what I did. How the... How am I supposed to go up there? Maybe I wasn't supposed to jump here. Well, I don't know how to go. Oh, maybe I have to do this. No, I feel like I'm not supposed to be up here. I'd like to see him try and kill me up here. Fucking do it. Do it. I wonder what happens if... Come here. 
That's right. That's right. You're not so scary. It's me and my house, my anti-spider house. Whoa! Oh, I thought I broke through the wall, the wood for a second. I was like, sick. What? I, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Damn! What did I just sh shatter all my bones? Am I like missing something? Did he say something that I did not pay attention to? Where is he? Something about pepper work. <laughs> Look at him try and find his way in here like an idiot. Look at that, you idiot. I'm safe in here. There seems to be ladders inside this building. Where? I've never seen... I've never seen ladders in this game. I didn't even know they had ladders. Unless it's on the outside of the building. It has to have something to do with the fact that I, I can make this jump. I guess it has something to do in here. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I know. This? Damn it. Yeah, because this door is locked. I think I had it. Shit, I need to stop. Yeah, that was the move. I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> Seems like I need a key or something. Oh, unless I... J oh, I have to make this jump. Woo! There we go. Hey, come on over. I'm here. I feel so powerful. I'm so high up. There's no way I can be attacked. Is this the document? No. Ooh, that would have taken a long time to get back up here. I fell. Oh, jump here. Ooh, nice carpet. What up? Now we have to do the fun part of getting down without dying. How the fuck do we get? Oh, through here. I'm gonna 
gonna do this quick. You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> I sure am glad. Ah, there's that scrap you. Oh, oh. I'm leaving. A monkey. He's running. He's fucking. He's running. <laughs> he loves his spot. He loves his spot. As soon as it's safe, he just goes back to his favorite spot on his favorite bridge. All right, I gotta make my way back to the train. I got two more missions. I know I'm gonna get fucked over by Charles as soon as I leave. On Skyrim, the shit. Yes. Ryan Phantom, thank you for the. Trend Ryan Stock. Thank you for the 11 months. You thought I jumped into the space, but it's just the map. Yeah, that's every time someone sees that, they think I'm like jumping up. All right. I'm just gonna do a little, little loop here. Then I'm gonna do this mission, this mission, and that's the final mission. I'll be done with this game in like just about th three hours. Oh. I do like that you can see him far away in the distance. That's fun. This is a solo 20 year old dev. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Stop. Ooh, lots of it here. Let's see, what do, how much do we have? 26. We could upgrade our damage. And that's it. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be able to fully upgrade before our fight. You're watching this on a train ride home? Oh, nice. I see you! Whoa! Right to the face! Alright, we switched to fire. Both red. Oh, there's scrap over there. I'm gonna miss it. Damn it, Charles. You're making me miss scrap. One more blast to the face. I think he's gone. Let me go back and get that scrap. Where am I? Oh yeah, I missed that mission anyway, so I need to go back.
That's the train. That's the train. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. I might just have to walk there. I think I'll just walk there at the junction. I should mark it on my map. Polar Express is genuinely scary to you? I've never seen Polar Express, so I don't know what that means. Is it because there's CGI Tom Hanks? Looks like she's getting ready to scare me. I'm getting I'm getting rot gut flashbacks right now. I need my pickles. I ate the last jar of pickles I had in my house, and there's only one jar of pickles left on the island. <laughs> what? My secret jar of pickles locked away inside my pickle cave. I would have gotten them hours ago, but I lost my pickle cave. I have lock pigs. I'll fucking get your pickles. Fine. The fuck? <laughs> I love that someone in chat saying, now I believe that was made by a 20 year old. <laughs> hey. You can't disrespect pickle jokes because the 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 number one the OG the the number one of them all the shit pickle is is probably the funniest thing so you can't do that I have I love shit pickle so much Oh purple paint I should have looked at that fucking... Okay. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> I think... I think... Controversial opinion. This game... This game earns this because... For the, there's like almost no humor throughout the rest of the game and there's just one instance of humor and it's like it's just that i think i appreciate that now now if it was ship pickle then i would be like i would be so happy <laughs> my pickles i thank you so very much you are my pickle hero here are some scraps as a reward bye Did I open this? No, I didn't. I like that I found probably just as many scraps from that box as I did getting those fucking pickles.
No, don't call me the fucking pickle hero. No. Oh, it's an AV Gen joke. If you don't know what shit pickle is, you don't know. You don't know humor. If you don't know what shit pickle is, that is the basis of of all of our TVS. We all met watching shit pickle videos. <laughs> Ooh, I got so much scrap. I think I have almost all the paint. Stop, stop. Discord shit pickle watch party, I guess. Ah, uh, hey, you know what do you want? All your heart. I love how two people separately ask the same question. Can you hit yourself with your own train? Ooh, we got a little car. Hey, can we take that with us? I guess not because of the gun. Oh, that's mine. Hey, let me in. Where is this mission? Yo, that was actually sick when the UI element was like morphing with the camera. Nice carpet. Yo, you're living large. Take this scrap. Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scrap. Sir, I'll do anything for scraps. Let me see. Learn. You're playing Roblox and there's a ripoff of this game with 16,000 people playing right now. What is this game even, when did this game come out? It came out today. I'm playing this because it came out today. Roblox works fucking fast. No visitors allowed. Come find me. <laughs> Trouble finds me. in here blue box blue box oh found it e fucking point blank there goes my stomach i'm out you're gonna chase me the whole way there yep what happens if i bring him into the room with theodore you better hope you're fast
You can run over the guys, by the way. They scream too, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Where do you go? Betty knew I had a fucking cool ass. Hey. 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 You're in the wrong place, my friend. No one can hear you screaming out here. Yeah? What about you, though? Look at him charging me. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I found your blue box. That's the exact box. Now take these scraps. Quick and easy. I think that's it. We've got one mission left, and it's the last mission of the game. That's it. We got nothing else to do. We're missing three paint cans, though. I'm not about to go look for them, though. Let's see here. Damn. I could potentially fully level us up, but I feel like we're doing pretty good. 10, 10, 8. Good time to finish this. Let's go, baby. Does my train have horns? Yes. Oh, I got, I got demon horns on my, oh shit, you mean these for, oh shit. Oh, we got like Bowser spikes. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh yeah, you know what? So if we put, I bet the rust is gone now if we just do black, oh no, it's still there. You know what? Choo Choo Charles is blue, let's be killer blue. Uh, Choo Choo Charles is red, let's be killer blue. Blue demon. I actually like the purple. No hey. Yeah, come here. Come here. Check this out. I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, me first. Uh, <laughs> My wheels look cool now. Oh, yeah, they look like Tron wheels. That is pretty cool that it visually upgrades as well. So thoughtful of them to all whistle to let me know where they are. Oh. oh. Oh shit. I'm putting the exit. <laughs> These fucking eggs. Let's fucking go. Damn! You don't know what you're doing. Just put the egg down slowly and lay flat on the ground. <laughs> You'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning. Yo, I fucking slammed it in there. <laughs> no! No! You fool!
Oh, fuck, he's powering up. Goodbye, Warren Warlock. Let's fucking go. Shoot him until he's dead. All right, it's time to try this. The big guns are coming out. This is really hard. Time for our time. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit. We need to heal. God. It's a good thing I had extra scraps. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Alright, that's all the scraps I had. This is it. Oh shit. This is cutting it close. Sad. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> hey, that was pretty fucking good. That was a lot of fun. That was good. That was good. That was a good ass game. Shout out of uh, Fantasy Cave Environment Set. <laughs> we fucking did it. Congratulations, Sospins, on defeating Charles in charge. You are now and forever will be the pickle hero. Yeah, don't call me that.
Oh, wait. Oh, there's a there's a hidden egg. There's another egg. What's gonna be in it? Are we gonna see it hatch? I want to see it hatch. Oh shit! Oh my god! All those eggs! Oh, it is. It's not near over. Oh yeah, and we could see our badass fucking train there. That was fun. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Well, that was Choo Choo Charles. Beat it in, uh, yeah, in about three hours. Just about three hours. Halloween ends TTS review. Can someone find the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one as well? I thought that was a badass ending. The next chap. I thought that was a badass ending. I actually, I, I thought that was a really fun ending. It was the game didn't overstay its it's the game didn't overstay its uh its welcome. The game wasn't it wasn't too hard. Um, the gameplay loop was fun. It looked it looked good, and I I like the idea of getting around by in a train and going around an open world, and all that done by one person's pretty fucking good. Honestly, big big shouts out. All right. Well, that, this was the only thing I planned on doing for the stream tonight. We're going to end on watching some... Damn, this is the fucking Mega Man 8 soundtrack. It's going crazy right now. Holy shit. I never heard this part of the soundtrack. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the stream after we watch these two beautiful videos. Uh, I guess spoilers for Halloween ends if you haven't seen it. So, I forget when this happened, but um, I think it was me and Wayne found this uh, channel, YouTube channel called Media Breakdown that does these like weird, completely uninsightful, and like borderline not true like videos about movies that are done by this weird TTS. And uh, I watched the one on Texas Chainsaw Massacre a couple months ago, but apparently there's more. They did one on Halloween ends. Chapter in the terrifying Michael Myers tale, which is the next chapter in the terrifying Michael Myers tale, which has spanned decades and various timelines. Halloween ends has now been made public for one final night of dread. The main uncertainty made public. before the movie was whether or not he would actually be put to death this time. In earlier guises, the notorious murderer in a mask has survived being shot, stabbed, blown up, and even beheaded with just minor injuries. With a title that included the word ending, there was the impression that he would actually be gone permanently this time, if it wasn't already abundantly evident, was regarding whether or not this actually occurs in the end. So, if you haven't watched the movie yet, either come back once you have, or get ready for all the climactic mayhem of this final episode. First, some background information on the current state of affairs before this new movie. In the last misfire of a movie, Halloween Kills, it misfire. was promised that evil will die tonight. However, Michael had fled, leaving everyone in the little hamlet of Haddonfield terrified that he was constantly the little hamlet. in the shadows. <laughs> After being assaulted by him decades before, Laurie Strode had waited years for his return, but she spent the most of the previous movie in a hospital while Michael wandered the streets. In the last seconds of the movie, he ended up killing her. You daughter, can't see Karen because Violet. it's it's copyright. I can't I can't show. It's just footage from Halloween ends. Now that Karen and Laurie are attempting to create a new life free of fear, Laurie has taken on the burden of parenting Karen's daughter, Allison. Of course, that won't last very long because this is a Halloween movie. Not Michael, but a new character to the series is essential to this. The movie begins with Corey, who is going to babysit for a local family babysit. exactly like Laurie did all those years babysit. ago, a year after the events in Halloween Kills. 
However, Corey accidentally murders the little child who he is supposed to be watching rather than Michael entering the scene. The incident is horrific, and as the movie cuts to four years after Halloween Kills, we witness how it irrevocably changed everyone involved's life. As we learn from Corey, since Michael is nowhere to be found, he has been turned into a scapegoat for the neighborhood and a new boogeyman. His friendship with her <laughs> granddaughter boogeyman. develops as Lori steps in to aid him after he was bullied by neighborhood teenagers. This is the main focus of the movie for a time before Corey discovers something important. He and the other characters are now on a collision path that will result in mayhem. The same adolescents from previously throw Corey from a bridge, and Michael personally drags him into a tunnel beneath the earth. He appears to have been hidden there for a long time and has become more reclusive. When the two look at one another, a succession of horrific flashbacks from the past appear as if they had developed a psychic connection. As a result, Corey starts to take on a new personality and begins killing those who have mistreated him. Together, he and Michael appear to give the old boogeyman fresh life. Eventually, the Corey old boogeyman. begins to realize what is going on and makes an effort to separate her granddaughter from Corey, who wants to flee with her. Allison simply wants to live her own life and rejects any attempts to restrict her, therefore her cries go unnoticed. Corey then breaks free from Michael after which he steals his mask and goes on a rampage across Haddonfield. Then he makes it to Lori's house. She deceives him before shooting him. To make it appear as though she had killed him, Corey stabs himself in the neck. Allison enters at that same time and is terrified by what she sees. The real Michael enters the house as she leaves Lori alone once more. Michael is trapped after the two engage in a fight to the death. Lori had pulled the refrigerator down on him and used a knife to pin each of his hands to the kitchen table. Michael then <laughs> makes a final lunge at her as she continues to knife into him to make sure he is dead. His hand gets torn in the process, but Lori is still in his grasp. Then Allison leaps back into his sister grandma, who is still cutting away and back making into his sure sister Michael grandma. Is dead. This is the point in the climax that things start to go truly crazy and outrageous in the greatest possible unexpected way. When the cops show there, Lori and what? Allison arrange a car procession and drive around the town while Michael is tied to the top of their vehicle in a horrifyingly funny holiday parade. As they continue on their journey to the neighborhood scrapyard, more individuals join them in an effort to catch the murderer once and for all. The notion that Michael, even while away, had generated such terror in the neighborhood that death was essentially omnipresent was woven throughout the narrative. In order to ultimately get rid of him, the whole community gathers for a ritualistic cleansing that guarantees he won't return. They all show up at the scrapyard with the intention of throwing Michael right into a metal crushing machine, taking no risks. With the crowd watching, Lori has the distinction of shoving her adversary in while standing up on top of the apparatus. Then, in a spectacularly horrific manner, Michael is entirely <laughs> destroyed, resulting in the most <laughs> thorough execution seen in any of the movies to date. In the movie of an eye, he is turned into mush by being grounded. There is no possibility that Michael will be able to walk very soon unless there is a supernatural resurrection. Of course, the story may always be continued with another reset of the chronology or some other plot device. The movie has done it several times and can undoubtedly do it again. But Turned putting into everything mush. else aside for the time being, this finale is actually rather beautiful. On a conceptual level, it puts an end to the still messy questions raised in the last movie regarding how Michael had managed to keep such a tight hold on the neighborhood. Halloween Ends boldly pioneers a method for eliminating the serial murderer at the core of the plot that has never been done in a movie before. It is a suitable conclusion since it is both darkly humorous and therapeutic. The movie finally comes to a satisfying conclusion as Lori completes the memoir she had been working on and Allison departs from home. The fact that life can now move on after Michael's brazen annihilation proves that everyone has been set free from his reign of terror. In the end, Halloween ends triumphantly ventured where no other Halloween movie has gone before. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to channel, subscribe and click the <laughs> bell for latest videos of media breakdown. You know what to do. If you are new to channel, click subscribe. Uh, I want to find the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. This one was this one was okay, but it wasn't too. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre ones are like. You just make no sense. Um, did you miss the game? Yeah, we're done. Post-credit post scene explained. What if I, I could? Honestly, I probably could just put this up and like on YouTube just cut it out. Because it's only a problem really on YouTube. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, bye. Because <laughs> I know YouTube goes hard on, like, catching trailers. Like, video copyright for trailers. And I think these mostly use footage from the, from the video, uh, from the trailers. Oh yeah, so these are horror movies, so obviously, like, gore warning.
spoiler warning for Texas Chainsaw Massacre Every, as well. Whoa. Big video. Texas Chainsaw Massacre post credits scene explained. Also, I'm going to change the information. Awesome. Was the new one any good? Not really. Monster, whether in nature or legend, has a... Wait, let me turn it down. I think this is the video that me and Wayne Every found monster, one whether in nature or legend, has a backstory. These tales include vital lessons for humans about why they should not tamper with nature's secrets or things they don't fully comprehend. <laughs> humans, on the other hand, excavate nature's secret out of curiosity, ignorance, or greed, arousing sleeping spirits or monsters and sparking events that culminate in a massacre. The reappearance of Leatherface is likewise the product of human avarice and their stupid interference in the 2022 film Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which causes a sleeping monster to emerge from the shadows and get retribution for everything he has lost. Dante, Ruth, Melody, and Leela, four townies, arrive in Harlow to help an elderly lady. Is this AI generated? No leave clue. Her home. Mrs. Mrs. Nick is informed by Dante that her property has been confiscated by the bank because she has failed to pay her debts, and despite the old lady's protests that she has paid every cent, the town's sheriff pulls her out of the home, and the old woman suffers a stroke. It is at this point that we first see Leatherface, Mrs. McKay's final son. After the 1973 massacre outside Austin, Leatherface is thought to have been a stray monster who was sheltered and adored by an elderly woman named Mrs. MC who kept the huge man hidden in her orphanage until the current day. Leatherface's mother, the lady, filled the gap left by the trauma he had been carrying for a long time. Maybe, Mrs. Mc operated as an unseen link between Leatherface Maybe. and human civilization, calming the monster inside him and assisting him in suppressing his psychopathic inclinations, which is likely why <laughs> Mrs. Mc was able to steal Leatherface's chainsaw and hide it behind the walls of her chamber. We all need a sense of belonging and a home, whether we are humans, what? Monsters, or other creatures. Without it, we frequently lose our path and wind up performing the most heinous actions or becoming our history, which we all wish to forget. Mrs. MC's death shattered the cocoon that contained the monster Leatherface, and shortly after, Leatherface reverts to his former self, murdering everyone in his path to revenge his so-called mother's death. Mrs. Mick was assassinated not just by the police officers or the child, Ruth, but by the entire community which disrupted her quiet existence. As a result, Leatherface reappears. He returns wearing the skin of his mother's face as a sign of justice for the frail elderly woman who was ejected from her home by a gang of strangers. When Leatherface returns to the orphanage, he murders an unknown guy in the home because he doesn't belong there. And after the slaughter, <laughs> he rushes into his mother's chamber and breaches the wall to get his final weapon of vengeance. Oh! The chainsaw that completes the demon's costume. Leatherface is able to wreak retribution on all the wrongdoers and innocents that cross his road of vengeance after much bloodshed and gruesome executions. But a girl called Leela manages to flee. Perhaps Leela is not the direct offender in Leatherface's views because she is only a guest who arrived with her sister, Melody, who happens to be the major the menace in the monster's AI eyes. Breathing and therefore there. he lets <laughs> Leela escape. Leatherface returns to the windmill home a few miles outside Austin, Texas, where the 1974 <laughs> movie and the initial slaughter Austin, took place Texas. in the post credit sequence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even if society regards Leatherface as a monster, the act of returning to the roots implies that the individual in question wishes to sleep comfortably under a roof where no one disturbs his everlasting <laughs> <What>? slumber. <laughs> what? I think that's my favorite part of the video. This... Even if society regards Leatherface as a monster, the act of returning to the roots implies that the individual in question wishes to sleep comfortably under a roof where no one disturbs his everlasting slumber. The monster is unlikely to return unless driven by an external source to take up his chainsaw and unleash his vengeance on them because they invited their own death by trespassing into the lion's den. But even if he does, I hope he receives the closure he deserves, whether by death or some other way. Thanks for watching. I love, I love that this, the end of this video is like, this fucking AI TTS is like, <laughs> I hope Leatherface gets the closure he deserves. Trespassing into the lion's den, but even if he does. Trespassing into the lion's den. There's another one. I think it's this one. 
trespassing into the lion's den. You just finished viewing the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film on Netflix. And if you were clever, you stuck around until the end to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre after credit sequence. Now your mind is racing, and you're asking yourself, what does it all mean? What does it all mean, says the narrator, of all. For the majority of the Texas Chainsaw- <laughs> What? Uh, if you were smart, if you were clever, you stuck around to the end to see the post credit scene. And if you did, your mind is now racing. <laughs> Your mind is now racing. <laughs> That's what it felt like. I saw the after credits scene and my mind started to race. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? Says the narrator of all. For the what majority of the mean? Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 83 minute runtime. It's not that deep. Leatherface wields a massive <laughs> chainsaw and murders people deep. with it. You don't even need to have seen the other seven films in the genre because the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre is regarded a direct sequel to the 1974 film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For the sake of this new film, they are not considered canon. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre end credits scene, on the other hand, may catch you off guard, or maybe you just want to know who survives by skipping ahead. Whatever your motivation, here's all you need to know about the movie's post credit scene. Melody is a young San Francisco entrepreneur with a plan to convert a near ghost town in rural Texas into a wealthy elitist tourism and real estate destination. Leela, her younger sister, is dragged along with her to a meeting with possible investors in town. Melody is hoping that Leela would join her in Texas so that they can be together this after is just a tragic a, this tragedy. Is a plot, some <laughs> tragic tragedy. Join her in Texas so that they can be together after a tragic tragedy at her school. When Melody, Leela, and their pals arrive in Harlow, Texas, they find something in the town that their investors don't want them to see. A confederate flag. They attempt to get rid of it. They presume the house flying it is abandoned, so when an elderly woman asks what they are doing in her home, they are taken aback. The elderly lady offers delicious tea to her unexpected visitors. She claims the house is an ancient orphanage she used to run for over 50 years. The old lady becomes distraught when Melody hesitantly informs her that the house has been seized by the bank and that she must go. Oh yes, frightening this person part. Also listen, there's like another voice in the background. Arrives in the stairway while the old lady is frightened. His face is hidden from view. The elderly lady instructs the man to return to his room since she is all right. She informs Melody, what is he's happening? the last of my guys. He need particular attention. I can't be here since he doesn't do well outside. When the cops arrive to evict the elderly woman. Oh my god, maybe if they, oh, because it's recording over the previous video. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> she falls in terror. The same hulking figure from earlier grabs her and transports her to the hospital in a police car. Jessica Allen, who plays Melody's friend volunteers to accompany them to the hospital so that she may inform Melody that the woman oh, is well. Is, it really Leela is. gets a horrifying glimpse of the towering figure's face and shadow as they drive away, and all she sees is an eye. That menacing figure, as you may have surmised, is none other than Leatherface. Akka the chainsaw wielding killer initially depicted Akka. by Gunnar Hansen in the Akka. 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Leatherface embarks on a violent spree after the orphanage mother dies on the route to the hospital murdering everyone in the vehicle with his chainsaw. The rest of the film follows Leatherface as he tries to find Melody, whom he plainly blames for his surrogate mother figure's death. Sally Hardesty, the sole survivor of Leatherface's homicidal spree 50 years ago, receives word that Leatherface is returned. She brings weapons to Harlow in the hopes of finally- I forgot, I forgot a lot about this movie. This movie was not good. Defeating him with his chainsaw, Leatherface hacks up a number of people, and eventually just Melody and Leela are left of <laughs> their number palace. Of Sally arrives with her vehicle at precisely the appropriate time. But instead of driving away, she insists that they wait until Sally can murder Leatherface. Leatherface, however, has the upper hand and leaves Sally practically dead in the street. Melody and Leela are being pursued by Leatherface. They make an attempt to hit him with the van, but it crashes. Melody, who is stuck in the van, encourages Leela to go and leave her behind. Leela agrees, but later returns to try to shoot Leatherface. She's out of bullets, but thankfully, Sally comes and shoots Leatherface in the shoulder with the last of her power. Explained ending. A dying person Sally warns Leela not to f Explained ending. Explained ending older with the last of her power explained ending a dying person sally warns leela not to flee if you flee he'll never stop haunting you but instead of assisting her sister in fleeing leela pursues leatherface inside the abandoned theater armed with a rifle there's a pool of water in this auditorium for some reason and leatherface assaults leela and nearly drowns her leela eventually drags herself out of the water 
but Leatherface has the upper hand. Melody, her sister, appears out of nowhere and leaps on him just as he's about to slice her up with his chainsaw. With her last round, Leela hits Leatherface in the stomach. Melody then takes up the chainsaw and slices him through the middle, albeit a shallow one. Leatherface is knocked unconscious and falls into the sea. We notice bubbles at the first, sea, indicating that he is still sea. breathing. But the bubbles gradually stop, indicating that he is dead. Is Leatherface finally <laughs> extinguished for good? Nope. Leela and Mel get into nope. their expensive automobile and put on autopilot mode in the film's last scene. Leatherface emerges out of nowhere and snatches oh, Mel through That's the passenger kind of window with his chainsaw approaching a lovely little home with a windmill if you wait until the very end of the credits. Explaining the Texas Chainsaw Massacre post credit scene. Leatherface is on his way to a residence that would be familiar to loyal Texas. <laughs> Ouch! I actually wonder how much of that is TOS, if, even if it's a movie. Very end okay. of the credits. Explaining the Texas Chainsaw Massacre post credit scene. Leatherface is on his way to a residence that would be familiar to loyal Texas Chainsaw fans. <laughs> It's Leatherface's house, back of the early 1,900 <laughs> seconds farmhouse where the first Texas chain- 1,970 seconds time house. Townhouse. Fans. It's Leatherface's house, back of the early 1,900 seconds farmhouse where the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is not the right movie, by the way, that they're showing right now. Was shot. Leatherface, his brother, and their grandfather resided at the house in the original film. In the first film, Leatherface's brother is said to have been slain, while he and other members of Leatherface's family did appear in subsequent films. It's crucial to understand that the 2022 Texas Chainsaw Massacre was meant as a direct sequel to the 1974 picture, and the creators do not consider the previous films to be canon. Even then, you know how slashers go, no one ever actually dies. Is this a hint that more Texas Chainsaw flicks are on the way? as well as a reunion between Leatherface and his brother. To discover out, we'll have to wait and watch. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out latest video of Media Breakdown. Get into their expensive automobile and put on autopilot mode in the film's last what? scene. Leatherface emerges out of nowhere and snatches Mel through the passenger window as the car begins to move away, while Leela cries from the car that is still going away on autopilot. He beheads her in the street with his chainsaw. After the credit scenes, is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. You may see Leatherface walking down a dusty road. <laughs> After the credit scene, Welcome is there a Texas account. Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that channel. Fuck. I love that channel. For some reason, the, the Halloween one wasn't too crazy, but like, for some reason, the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre ones are like, all, sometimes incomprehensible. Anyhow. That's uh Friday the thirteenth. They probably don't even don't even have that covered on that channel. I think that's the stream though. It's Friday night. It's still the night is still young. It is eleven PM here. Eastern time. Drop the channel. It's called Media Breakdown. It's called Media Breakdown. Thank you for pulling up. That was a hell of a fun stream. I had a good time. Hope you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna take down this picture. Um next stream uh, will likely be on Monday. So Saturday, Sunday, no stream. Uh, likely Monday is going to be the next stream, so I'll see y'all then. In the meantime, have a good Friday night. Have a good Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. The night is young. Have a good meal. Watch a good movie. Have some popcorn. I don't know. Drink some juice. Uh, go to go to play War Call of Duty Warzone Two. Enjoy, enjoy your Friday night. Rats, I just got here. <laughs> Rats, well, there's a VOD. You can catch up with the VOD. Uh, Choo Choo Charles is pretty fun. Yeah, honestly, pretty fun. I don't know if I would drop twenty dollars on it. I feel like maybe that's more of a ten to fifteen dollar game. But at this point, you're it's five dollar difference. But I paid like 28 bucks Canadian. That was about 30, a little bit after, over over 30 dollars after taxes. But to support a one person dev team, I'd say it's, that's worth it. Um, that was a fun game. 
anyhow thank you for stopping by thank you to all the the donos and the bits and the subs there were a lot tonight i super super appreciate it got our first a in a bit so thank you thank you to let me look up the name I, don't know. I have to scroll quite a bit because there's a million glass balls there. Oh, I can't even get that far down anymore. But shouts out. Shouts out. Oh, yes. A witch bird. Shouts out for the Awuga. And shouts out everyone who, who donated to support the stream. Uh, next stream on Monday. If you want to talk about media breakdown and their amazing Texas Chainsaw Massacre <laughs> videos, there's a horror channel in the in the Discord. So if you're over 16, hop on in. People watch wrestling there sometimes. People watch movies, with TV shows. A bunch of stuff. And I'm in there. I'm in there pretty often. I'm in the wrestling channel. I usually hop in there a couple times a week. Um, but I'll, I'll hop in and out of a bunch of channels. Oh, yeah thank you for watching i'll see y'all soon is 16 allowed yeah just as long as you're not under 16 and i'll see y'all on monday have a good night uh, have a good weekend kebaba Every monster. <laughs> God damn it. Whether in nature or legend has a backstory. These tales include vital lessons for humans about why they should not tamper with nature's secrets or things they don't fully comprehend. Humans, on the other hand, excavate nature's secret out of curiosity ignorance or greed arousing sleeping spirits or monsters and sparking events that culminate in a massacre the reappearance of leatherface is likewise the product of human avarice and their stupid interference in the 2022 film texas chainsaw massacre which causes a sleeping monster to emerge from the shadows and get retribution for everything he has lost dante ruth melody and leela four townies arrive in harlow to help an elderly lady Mrs. MC, leave her home. Mrs. Mick is informed by Dante that her property has been confiscated by the bank because she has failed to pay her death. Did their own death by trespassing into the lion's den.